Now, providing with an overview of trichomes, cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids, and cannabis is kind of a large undertaking. As a result, I'm just going to touch on some of the key aspects of these uh, and realize that they're much more complex. This will just give you that general understanding of what these different compounds are. So starting with trichomes, these are small crystal-like structures that are produced that produce the cannabinoids and terpenes. They can be said to have an almost translucent mushroom-like appearance, as we kind of see here and here. Uh, these resin glands are often sticky to the touch, and quality trichomes equal a quality product in cannabis. These are extremely sticky of a sunny dew. Uh, these trichomes are capturing an insect here, but you may be more familiar with trichomes on like a hairiness kind of to like a tomato plant that they occur. Typically for cannabis, we're looking at trichome production um, under a microscope or a, uh, a loop to kind of magnify them because quality trichomes typically directly correlate to a quality product. The cannabinoids, THC, I have the pronunciation here, stands for tetrahydrocannabinol. This is the compound that produces the euphoric um, high, typically associated with marijuana. This is what it looks like on a chemical structure. CBD or can cannabidiol is does not have these intoxicating effects of THC, but has more potential use in the pharmaceutical industry. This is what can be classified as hemp, as long as that cannabis plant has less than 0.3% THC from federal regulations. Terpenes are volatile or aromatic oils that impact flavor, aroma, and effects. You can kind of see them dripping here. The cannabis does have about 140 different terpenes identified, but terpenes are not not only found in cannabis as we see in this conifer resin, these kind of pine tree. They're secreted by the same glands that produce the cannabinoids, such as the THC and the CBD. In addition to the terpenes themselves, it can also uh, be an indirect impact on how the body processes other cannabinoids, such as THC and CBD. So they themselves have some effects, but they can also influence effects of other compounds. Flavonoids, many exist uh, naturally in nature. They primarily produce coloration or pigments to the plant and help attract pollinators and offer protection from damaging UV light. Anthocyanins are probably the most widely recognized for their purple color, such as in purple kush. Uh, it could also have like the purpleness and blueness of blueberries. Poison ivy, when it first comes out, will have um, these uh, flavonoids or specifically these anthocyanins to help shield it from damaging uh, UV or intense sunlight. And as it gets older, it will lose those pigments and have more of that chlorophyll. It's not well uh, documented, but it shows the possible interactions with cannabinoids, so they may also, too, have some interactions. Hopefully that gives you just that general overview of these very complex uh, products that cannabis can produce so you can understand at least a little bit of the difference between them.